let us guide you first over here on the left side these are your tool section you have the option to add an image over your output now right now what i'm trying to do is i'm going to be erasing different uh brushes that i have already done which is this one over here and you can notice that the more things i change the more the right side will also change now the right side is the output side of our leonardo real-time canvas over here and on the left side of course this is where you will be able to change the or this is where you will be able to draw going back here on the left side you have the brush option over here having a brush will allow you to draw whatever you want whether any shape or whatever form you want and it will appear over here on the right side of course if you put random shapes it's going to be a confusing output and it will try the ai will still try to create an output based on the design that you have just created continuing over here on the left side you could control the color that you want so right now i'm choosing yellow so it will be utilizing that so depending on your prompt depending on your output using colors will greatly help the ai's generation so if you drew a blue color or a blue colored brush and the topic is let's say water of course it's going to recognize that blue as water but if you said the uh, prop is an island surrounded by water now the color will matter because you will be able to separate two elements from each other like you could separate the water and the land which i will try and show you guys later so aside from that uh over here this is your brush size now the brush size is very important because it's going to affect a lot of your section as you can notice here as you can see uh, the color matters because it's going to change the color of your output over here as well but anyway it's very important because it will allow you to easily erase everything just like that and now let's start from the scratch if you made a mistake you can simply click on undo as well or you could also clear canvas just like this if you don't want to delete uh, manually you could do that now let's start with creating our very simple prompt over here below by the way this is where you will be able to put the prompt which would allow leodardo to figure out what type of output you want to produce so i type moon over here that's why any output that we were producing earlier were being produced with a moon so let me draw something here uh the output there we go will be a moon so let's uh restart again and this time let's think of a topic so let's say i would like to draw an island like what i was explaining earlier so simply type island there we go now there's an output over here but let's clear our canvas so that uh, there's no output yet there we go so let's go with the water first there we go and let's brush around the area or the area that we want to have water in let me adjust our brush over here so it's a bit bigger and easier to paint there we go we have our water over here now as you can see it will automatically recognize the blue section as the water and the output is really great as well it's not very uh, pixelated it's not a random element it's a very well thought of output so let's add our land over here instead of it being in the middle i would like it to be on the right side it's like this and there we go it will move to the right because now i indicated where i would like the land to be so let's increase it a bit there we go let's make it a bit or let's make this into a beach and there we go as you can see i could also add other elements let's say i would like to have like a gray or like a mountain on the background so i could put this and it will recognize that as like landscape as well but of course it's not always going to be perfect this output or this feature is currently in beta and the output that we are getting right now is extremely amazing despite it being in early access so uh, that's a good thing as well so let's add something bright over here maybe like a sun something like that uh let's see if it will recognize it as a sun now it recognizes it as a moon but uh let's add a prop over here during the day there we go now it's still not doing that but i guess uh, what we could do also is that we could uh, select over here which would allow us to select a specific element that we have added just like this one and then we could move it around just like this and it of course everything is going to affect each other as you can see here now it came like an asteroid 
If I put it on top, it's going to be like uh, clouds over here, all of this stuff. Now, depending on how you use it, it's going to be a very useful feature. So uh, let me get a bright color over here. Let me try something out. So over here, let's increase this. Let's remove this uh, elements over here. There we go. Then let's brush this as an, a bright section. And there we go. Now, it recognized the sky over here, but not all of this block section over here will be recognized as a wall. So we could fill this up just like this so that there is no wall. And now there we go. It now recognizes it as a daylight as you can see here, which is really amazing. So we could now add our sun here. Hopefully, but I guess it's not going to perfectly get our option. So over here, you can notice that there is also creativity strike over here. So the higher this is or the lower it is, the more creative it is. But as you can see here, I lowered it. So the creativity is significantly less. So it's it looks much realistic now. It looks very plain. But the higher it is, the more freedom the AI will have. So the output will, of course, change. But you need to balance it, of course. The, the perfect balance earlier was 0.8. And it was able to give us like a very simple output over here. You can also choose the type of style. There's anime style over here, a cinematic style. There we go. Concept art. So depending on the type of art style that you want, you could select that as well. You could try painting. This is what it would look like as a painting. Uh, maybe photography. Select that. Uh, race trace. Uh, sketch color. Vibrant. And none over here, as you can see. So it depends on your preference. The default one is the dynamic one, as you can see. Now, currently, this is interactive mode, where this mode will update the drawing every time we complete an action, every time we change. But there is a premium version where it will update the image in real time. It is much more responsive. So uh, what we're doing right now, it's going to respond after we finish an action, just like that. But with the premium version, it will act or it will create a design while we are moving our concept or our brush over here. So let's try another prompt over here. Let's go with a very simple one. Uh, earth. So let's simply create our earth over here. Let's put it in the middle, just like that. Now we have our earth over here. Uh, let's add our moon. Let's look, put it on the side. There we go. Will it recognize it as the moon? It's not recognizing it, but I guess it's recognizing like a ozone layer effect over here. As you can see here, like a wormhole effect. So let's leave it over here for now. Let's leave it as it is for now. So assuming this is the output that you're satisfied with, you could either instant refine it over here on the top right, which will improve the quality. As you can see here, it improved our quality over here. And you could also upscale the image for you to uh, have a better size. You click on settings over here, which will allow you to change the settings of the upscaling. And then if you're satisfied with it, you can simply download it. And this is our output over here, as you can see. So that's basically it, guys. That is how you will be able to use the real-time canvas of Leonardo AI. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.